Prince Harry spent years earning the title of Royal Rebel. So his marriage to an American actress, well, that's totally on brand. I've always loved new experiences. And we're not surprised to see Meghan rewrite the royal rules. Picking things off at number five, Meghan and Harry's very regular and very public displays of affection. It was absolutely amazing to get to know her mm -hmm. um, as, as quickly as I did. While it seems normal to see newlyweds being googly-eyed and overly affectionate, the hand-holding, the smooching, and even the gushing... I have been so proud to be able to introduce my wife to you. ...totally goes against the royal norm. She's a breath of fresh air. At number four, Meghan's long history of feminism. When Ewan Lynn reached out to me, I asked him if I could go and intern at the UN headquarters. The 37-year-old Duchess began advocating for women long before the Duke entered her world. Women need a seat at the table. They need an invitation to be seated there. And in some cases, where this isn't available, well then you know what? Then they need to create their own table. And despite it being an unprecedented move, marrying into the royal fam hasn't changed that one bit. Women's suffrage is about feminism, but feminism is about fairness. When girls are given the right tools to succeed, they can create incredible futures, not only for themselves, but for all of those around them. But Megan doesn't just talk the talk, she walks the walk, or should we say, shuts her own car door. Who won the world? While attending her first solo event back in September, the Duchess proved her independence with this simple move. And she turned heads by opting for crossed legs rather than the traditional Duchess slant, while attending the Young Leader Awards with the Queen. <sighs> oh. In our number three spot, Meghan's sometimes unconventional fashion. The Duchess turned heads just weeks after her wedding when she wore this pink Carolina Herrera number to the Queen's official birthday with bare shoulders on full display. It was perhaps a little more revealing than I think we're used to seeing. Check out Kate's three-quarter length sleeves in comparison. The Queen is known to have certain preferences. That includes nude tights or pantyhose. And let's not forget the time she skipped the pantyhose and showed off her killer stems while posing it up with Harry after announcing their engagement. But it's the non-traditional touch Megan added to her wedding gown that has us all swooning. Did you see it? The piece of blue fabric that's stitched inside? No. It was my something blue. It's my it's oh, fabric from my... Oh, it's still in there. Yes, we'll have to look at that. It's fabric from the dress that I wore on our first date. As for the number two way Megan is expected to rewrite the royal rule book with her parenting. According to a source, Meg and Harry want their kiddos to have as normal a childhood as possible. Quote, they plan to spend a considerable amount of time in their Cotswold home, and Doria will have a prominent role in their family as the children's grandmother. And get this, the source says they'll even be expected to do chores and one day have regular jobs. She has certainly done things differently. And finally, at number one, Meghan is shaking up royal holiday traditions. With Meghan by his side, Harry is, is a happier person, and, and together they're going to take on the world. Last year, she became the first fiancé to be invited to spend Christmas with the royal family. And this year, it's her mom getting the Queen's invite. A source tells E.T. that Doria Ragland is expected to spend some of the holiday with her daughter and son-in-law. Adding, quote, Doria's quiet dignity and grace at the royal wedding has earned her enormous respect from Meghan's new in-laws. According to the source, it's expected that Doria will receive an invitation to attend church with the royal family. As for the royal kicker, while Kate Middleton's parents have also been guests at the morning service, when it comes to accommodations, they typically stay with Kate and William at their home nearby. What do you think of our favorite royal rebel? Should we keep calm while she carries on? Or is this break in protocol undignified? 
Message us and let us know.